So it's morning here on the Richmond Alpine track uh, of the Teoroa, and it's uh, raining outside. Uh, you can also see that I'm sleeping on a sleeping mat, which is totally flat. That's because there's a leak in it, and after I blow it up, after 10 minutes, it just gets flat again, so I'm just laying on the ground. Not the most comfortable night of my life. So it's the last day of the Richmond Alpine track. Here's the sock I'm putting on. The socks I'm putting on are soaked just like this. It's pouring rain again, or it's drizzling right now, but this is it. I'm gonna get to St. Arnoux and stay inside in a warm room. So I'm on my way right now. I'm going to hike with Yana. Yeah. How are you? How are you feeling about it? <laughs> I'm very glad. I'm uh, happy we had such luck with the weather and the next couple of hours will be fun. I'm not sure she's right, but we'll <laughs> see. As Yana and I hiked out of the Richmond Range together, I felt sad. I knew that my time with her and the other hikers I'd met, like Karsten, Lena, Luke, and Neil, was about to end because soon I'd have to split away onto my own route for more rafting. But just for a little bit longer, I tried to focus on how happy I was that we were about to finish hiking New Zealand's intimidating Richmond Range. We just came out of the Richmond Range and out of the forest, which is going through the mountains for, I don't know how many days, seven days. And it's a miracle! There's like flat countryside. What are you seeing? <laughs> uh, sheep, cars, civilization. <laughs> Rain, mist again. It's amazing. I've been walking for over three hours now in the pouring rain. I cannot imagine a scenario in which I could be wetter than I am right now. I am so wet. So, so wet. But by some incredible, <laughs> some incredible miracle, I've made it to St. Arnold, which I've been walking to for the last 10 days through the Richmond Range. I'm so excited. I, oh my God, this is amazing. I cannot wait to get inside, get dried off, take a hot shower, eat 10 pizzas, then a burrito, then more pizzas and ice cream, and then go to sleep for a year. Oh my God, I can't believe it. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to see where I go next.